Alright, I just want to do, um, uh oh, I forget to turn my other camera, so I'm going to start again. So, hey guys, today's August 20, 23rd, so I'm recording this on August, and I just want to share you guys this experience. And I do think this is creepy, and you girls should not let this happen to you. Well, um, last night, you guys, I, I ended my night. Or I ended, I ended my shift and then we parked like near the near the fire lane and then my husband asked me if I could go get get a cup of ice for him so I said yeah sure so I run inside the truck stop and then got the anyway so I went to the truck stop I just literally just got done with my shift so um I went to the truck stop and then I went inside and as I was walking to the fire lane, I not not fire as I was walking to the a drinking aisle, I started buckling my, my pants because my pants was unbuckled, you know. I just got done driving. Sometimes, you know, I unbuckle my pants when I'm driving because sometimes I feel it's tight. <laughs> it got tighter. So so anyway, so as I was walking, a guy like passed past me and then he said he looked at me and then he said, are you a truck driver? And then I smiled. I smiled really big. I said, yes, I am. And then, and then I, as I said, yes, yes, I'm a truck driver. I was waiting for him to see, to say, um, are you the girl on YouTube? Or did I see you in, are you the, yeah, are, are you the girl on YouTube? I think I saw you in video. That's what I thought he was going to say because I smiled big. I smiled. That's why I smiled really big because I thought he recognized me. Well, so it wasn't he didn't he didn't recognize me so i was looking for a drink and then he said can i get you a drink and i was like no um no it's fine no um i'm looking for a big jug of tea the smile of tea and then so i was looking and looking he was just there standing and said here's the pure leaf tea so i said and i said uh i was just standing looking at it and then finally he said i'll get you a drink so i grabbed i grabbed the the drink that my husband likes um, so I said, are you sure? I, I need two drinks. So I said two drinks because I did not want to come back and get another drink again. So, and I said, and then he said, no, I, I'll pay. So he grabbed it. He grabbed it and he carried it in the counter. And then as I was, so as I was walking to the counter, he started talking. So where are you going? Are you all over the States and stuff? And then I said, no, I don't drive all over the state. Before I do, but now I have a set route. And then I said, okay. And then, where are you going? So I was like, um, I'm going to Dallas. And then he said, so are you going like 40 North? I was like, oh, did you come 40 North? I was like, uh, oh no. Other than that, he actually said, I used to be a truck driver. That's what he said. So I was like, okay. But when he said he was, are you going to 40 North? Then I was like, uh, I didn't think he knows the road. If he said 40 North, I think this guy is not really a truck driver. That's what I thought. So anyway, so he was, he was grabbing the, we were waiting at the corner. He was a little in front. I was a little behind and there were other gentlemen at the back. And then right away he said, so, um, can I get a ride for you? I was like, from you? I was like, oh my gosh. Then that's when I started thinking like, this is creepy now. So I didn't know what to say. Um, I just said, oh, uh, well, it's a company truck. I said, um, are you sure? I just need a ride. I just broke up with my girlfriend. He took my credit card. He took my wallet. But anyway, he pulled his wallet anyway. So I kind of felt bad. I was like, oh my God. And he's going to pay for my drink. He don't have a credit card. So so I thought it was really creepy. And then, and then I started to think, like, how can I get out of this situation? So I was like, um, it's a company truck. And there's cameras all over in the truck. That's what I said. And I actually said, like, if I don't, then maybe, but but I can't. Well, anyway, when I said there's camera all over, he said, maybe I can ride at the back. I was like, what? I was like, what at the back? Like I said, no, it's a trailer. Anyway, so he paid for my drink. He, and then I saw his wallet. He grabbed his wallet. And then I was like, no, I'll, I'll pay it. I'll pay it. And I said, no, no, I'll, I'll, you're fine. So I only get grab one drink and I grab two drink and I kind of felt bad. I was like, oh my god, I'm stupid. Why did I? Why? Why am I letting this guy pay for my drink? So before he slide his card, <laughs> I think this is this is creepy, but I think I'm stupid. Before he slide his card, he put 
the the guy in the counter put the drink in a plastic bag in one plastic bag so and i was thinking in my head like oh my god this is probably what i'm watching in the forensic show or what i listen in a forensic show well anyway so he put the drink in a bag in a one bag but i said can i get a separate bag and then i just as soon as <laughs> as soon as he put it in the bag as soon as he put it in the bag i took off i just said oh i wish i could i wish i could help you or i hope i hope you could get a ride from somebody else and i said sorry and but thank you for the drink so i he put the drink in a separate bag and i took off i walk out i was i was a little paranoid really i was a little paranoid. i walk out and i actually walk out where the car was where you, where everybody parked the car not where where we parked the truck because we parked near the fire lane kind of because my husband and I just want to switch driver real quick so I got out but as soon as I turned where I think he couldn't see me if ever he followed me where he couldn't see me I started running to our truck I was like Cody I, I jumped back to our truck and I told my husband honey please don't tell me please don't ask me to buy you a drink at night anymore please 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 and I said why what's wrong um I was like well I told him the story and then he said well you need to tell next time you need to tell that person that that you have a whole family in your truck so you cannot take take you in your truck that's what you need to tell them next time somebody asks for a ride well I just thought about it well I just said that my truck is cameras and then my husband said no you're actually giving that guy a chance to say like I can ride at the back so just say I have my whole family and my husband said every time every time somebody asked him for it he just say no I have my whole family in the truck I can't take you so anyway so I think that is so creepy I watch and I listen to forensic show women giving getting abducted and the reason I'm recording this is because I want you guys I want all the women to be not stupid I want them to be alert you know of some scenario do not put yourself in in a crazy situation where you you would jump in someone's truck or you would have a guy in your truck oh my god that's creepy like a stranger especially if you're a solo driver gosh god <laughs> but anyway guys to tell you guys to tell you guys my 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 personality or something I how my husband and I are team driver I never go out at night cross my finger I do not go out at night just the first time I go out at night, if I needed a bathroom, if I needed a restroom, I make sure my husband is with me. Or if if there's a truck stop or a rest area and it's across the street, I make sure my husband can see me. So, oh my God, if you guys are a solo driver, do not go out at night. Tell me, tell me I'm paranoid, but but I'm just trying to tell you guys this because you know this this situation that I am in. I think this happened to every woman. So this guy would ask women multiple times and they're just looking for a, they're just looking for somebody to victimize and i was like oh my god that would that could be me but i was like no i've seen this before so i better be out of here so, so <laughs> um i know i'm a little i'm so paranoid and crazy but guess what it's better to be paranoid and be naive in being the crazy situation because because ever since i was little we, I was little I didn't even know what sex was back then but I just know that there are creepy men out there so I do I don't put myself in a crazy situation because I say hi to people at daytime but not at nighttime especially stranger um, sometimes I actually hide I, I, um, I have some YouTube videos out there so sometimes I think not all the time sometimes I think these people might recognize me and it makes me it makes me scared in like oh my god I'm not going out there but but yeah but yeah like tell your wife remind your wife to remind your remind your daughter your kids you know to be safe and keep an eye in this kind of situation where I was just in oh my god I told my husband I told my husband for six dollars because that drink was six dollars for six dollars and I almost get I almost fell into that guy's trap and my husband was like he's pretty he's probably pretty pissed off that he paid for six dollars <laughs> and I was like I was like oh my god now I feel bad now maybe I'll give back to somebody and pay for somebody's drink you know um, since he spent like six dollars because I do feel guilty 
but I thought he was just being nice but women don't take don't think that guys are nice they're nice because they want something from you they want your P-U-S-S-Y. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. So, sorry guys. So look, I'm I'm signing out. I gotta go. I gotta go. I just started my day, but I gotta get going and <sighs> see you guys in the road. But be safe. Thank you. Bye bye. Love you guys. Good luck. Thank you.